How were animals used in war? The last information is assistive. During World War II, several animals were used as if living bombs and also to camouflage explosives. The Soviets made use of so-called anti-tank dogs, which were animals trained to deliver bombs towards tanks and other armored vehicles of enemy armies. Bomb animals in the early 1930s, dogs began to undergo intensive training by the USSR Army and were used in the Second World War in a controversial way. In the original process of using bombs on canines, the animal left the explosive close to the target and retreated so that the bomb could be detonated using a timer. However, upon realizing the ineffectiveness of the action, Soviet soldiers began to explode the devices while they were still attached to the dog, causing thousands of animals to die. This same training was carried out by the U.S. Army in 1943. In addition to dogs, another animal used in the Second World War was the pigeon. The strategy came from the U.S. military and was called Project Pigeon. The action was an attempt by the North American behaviorist psychologist B.F. Skinner to create a system of missiles guided by birds. The control scheme consisted of one to three lenses on the front of the missile, using the same fuselage developed by the National Bureau of Standards, later used in the creation of the radar-guided missile used aboard the U.S. Navy BAT, projecting the image of the target on an indoor screen. While trained pigeons, up to three were used to recognize the target, pecked at it. As long as the animals pecked at the center of the screen, the missile flew in a straight line, but pecks off the center caused the screen to tilt and, through a connection to the missile's flight controls, caused it to change direction and slowly fly away. Route was changed to the target in question. In addition to the animals used to carry explosives, some were used to camouflage bombs. Still in World War II, dead rats were used by British special operations against Germany. The strategy consisted of filling the rodent carcasses with explosives, leaving them in places such as factories, close to high-pressure boilers that would increase the effect of the explosion. However, the first batch of dead rats was intercepted by the German army and the plan was abandoned by the British. After this episode, the German military forces exhibited the animals in military schools and used them in research to improve the process.